Welcome to Simply Storage RAID, part of a series detailing various basic aspects of data storage. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. To understand RAID, start with a single disk drive. What's wrong with a disk drive? Well, nothing is wrong with using a disk drive to store data. But what if you had a lot of data to store and you wanted to make sure it was always available, even if some piece of hardware failed? Now the limitations of a single drive come into play. For example, if you run low on space, you'll need another disk drive, and another, and so on. No problem there, except that you're only using one at a time. What if you could use all the drives at once? That way you have enough space for your large data needs, but you're also maximizing the use of your hardware. How can every drive be used simultaneously? Well, one straightforward way is to divide the data as it comes in and send a piece to each drive. This is called striping the data, and is a key component of RAID. A major benefit of this method is speed. Striping data across drives is much faster than forcing one to do all the work. Simply striping data across all drives is what comprises RAID level 0, the simplest level. But there's still a problem. What if one of the drives had a hardware failure? <laughs> now we've lost access to some of our data. Well, that's just like if we were using one drive to store everything. We need a method of storing data that provides redundancy. The simplest way to do this is to have a copy of every bit of data. The idea is that every time we write data to a drive, we copy that same data to another drive. This method is known as RAID Level 1. Note that it requires having twice the number of disk drives you normally need. RAID Levels 0 and 1 can be combined to get the speed of Level 0 with the redundancy of Level 1. This is usually called RAID 0 plus 1, RAID 1 plus 0, or RAID 10. Now you're not only efficiently storing large amounts of data, but you're protected in the case of a hardware failure. But there are other options. Needing twice the number of drives is a costly requirement. What if there was a way to provide redundancy with fewer backup drives? Well, as you probably guessed, there is! RAID Level 5 uses a single drive's worth of space to store parity information built upon the data being stored. This parity information is spread across the drives along with the data and can be used to regenerate any missing data in the case of a drive failure. RAID level 6 is similar to level 5 but uses not one but two sets of parity so that data can be recovered even if two drives are lost. Calculating all this parity takes time and RAID levels 5 and 6 aren't always as fast as levels 1 and 0. To summarize, RAID, Redundant Array of Independent Disks, is a method of storing data using multiple disk drives in concert. The primary levels are 0, 1, 5, and 6, and combinations of levels are possible. These methods can improve speed, data reliability, or both. That is Simply Storage, RAID.